Good day everyone, my name is Loraldine Virinandang. <clears throat> now we are going to talk about self-concept and self-esteem and how we will going to have a good self-concept and self-esteem and the characteristic of having a good self-esteem. So before that, let's define self-concept and self-esteem. Self-concept is how someone sees themselves and the perception that they hold about their abilities. There are various factors that can affect self-concept. These include age, sexual orientation, gender, and religion. The self-concept is also made up of a combination of self-esteem and self-image. Self-esteem refers to a person's feelings of self-worth or the value that they place on themselves. And now that we know the self-concept and self-esteem, now we will going to talk about how we will going to boost our self-concept and self-esteem. Identify and challenge your negative beliefs. Let's down those negative thoughts that you think about yourselves. Like, I don't think I can do that because of na 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 na. Get rid of those thoughts and change it into positive one. Just always be think positive. Second, Identify the positive about yourself. So it's also good for us to know things that we think we can really do. Like you can do singing, dancing, or anything that you are confident for you to more improve it. Also those things are good for you to build more confidence thinking that you have a lot of things that can do. So don't be tired to boost your confidence. Third, build positive relationship and avoid negative ones. Build relationship to those people who make you feel good and avoid those people who are dragging you down. Just make a good choice in choosing friends because nowadays, plastic are everywhere. Just get a friend that will be there in your worst and best. Fourth, give yourself a break. We are human, we also need a rest. Don't force yourself when you are in your limit and take a break. Because we all have time to take a break when we feel a bit down or we find it hard to maintain our self-belief. Fifth, become more assertive and learn to say no. Some people that those have low esteem find themselves that they don't know how to say no to others. Saying no in a thing does not mean you are a loser. You are just avoiding those stress that others will give you. Don't stress yourself because of other people. You also have your own life that needed to be in a good health. So learn to say no. Sixth, improve your physical health. Physical health is very important for our mental health. So if you want to have a good self-esteem, you need to have a good physical health for you to have a good mental health that can help you to always think positive. Also at somehow having a good physical health or in your outer self can gain some confidence in ourself. And the last one, take on challenge. Don't avoid those difficult situations because life is full of challenge that we need to face because some of those challenges might also help you to have a good self-esteem. So always face those challenges in life. And now those are the things that we need to do for us to have or to boost our self-concept and self-esteem. Now for the next one, the characteristic of high self-esteem. Characteristic of high self-esteem. Willing to try new things in their life, can cope well when under pressure, emotionally stable and confident, happy to share their ideas and experiences. And that's all for today. Hope you learned something. This is Naraldin Berinanda, leaving a message, always think positive. I need somebody who can love me and my friends.